Jimmy Johnson Racing. I'm Jessica Fox here with the man himself, Jimmy Johnson. This is a decent racer in the same way NASCAR is a real sport and that there are people who think these things. Now, to be fair, perhaps a stronger argument can be made for the prior. Despite having a celebrity endorsement from someone who is only a celebrity in states where citizens watch cars drive in circles, Jimmy Johnson's Anything With An Engine is actually a surprisingly competent kart racer, albeit one with a stupid name. Head engineer and chief pit coach, Russell Pigknuckle Armstrong. Say hello, Rusty. Howdy, y'all. Yup, we be racing tubs, coffins, shopping carts, you name it, we got it. Released in 2011 for the Nintendo Wii, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3, you're forgiven for passing on Jimmy Johnson's Anything With An Engine. Looks awful at first glance, and the dude on the box looks like he works at a home improvement mega store or something, but to his credit, Jimmy Johnson at least likes Mario Kart, and evidently, that was the inspiration for this. Anything with an engine is a kart racer, and although it's not as wacky as the series that inspired it, it's perhaps even more bizarre. You choose your driver from a strange cast of characters that includes generic look-alikes for everything from a Big Daddy to Harley Quinn. None of the characters are endearing or really make any sense in a racer, but anything with an engine isn't about making sense. It's about making things go fast. I guess the idea, and hence the awful title, is that you're not driving go-karts. The vehicles are basically piles of junk thrown together, reassembled, and of course, given an engine. Because see, anything with an engine. So you're racing coffins, bathtubs, lawnmowers. It's actually a very interesting concept, but the game never really does anything memorable with it. It's the same problem I have with the characters. A wackiness doesn't just equate character. Characters need character, and neither they or their vehicles have it. Fortunately, things are far better in terms of gameplay. In fact, when it comes to the controls and racing mechanics, there's a lot to like about anything with an engine. The gameplay is fast and smooth, the controls are surprisingly tight and responsive, it plays a lot better than I expected it to. The problem is, it's also infuriating, and that's because your opponent's anythings seem to have far better engines. Now, I have no problem admitting when I'm bad at games. I'm bad at most games, but I'm very good at Mario Kart. And that said, I took last place in my first Grand Prix on the rookie setting. Now, there's something to be said for a challenge, but getting destroyed by the AI on the game's easiest setting in its easiest cup isn't challenging, it's just ridiculous. And frankly, that made the single-player modes too intolerable to bother playing. The game fortunately has plenty of multiplayer modes as well, including support for up to four players, but for a game that seems to be targeted toward a younger and more casual audience, its steep difficulty is just bewildering. It has a budget title name, a god-awful cover, and lame characters. Usually the telltale signs of a crappy kart racer, but surprisingly, that's not what this is. In fact, I'd say this is a perfectly solid Mario Kart clone for its intended audience, but for a majority of gamers, decent as it may be, this is a racer to leave at the pit stop. Jimmy Johnson's Anything With An Engine is too unoriginal and a little too frustrating to be worth your time. Uh, I'm trying to win back custody of my wiener dog for my third wife. 